Hello again, this is Adam Soder with Sumitomo Drive Technologies and on today's video we're going to go over the process of mounting a NEMA C-Face motor to our products, specifically a BBB product. Uh, once the motor is mounted, we'll then go through the procedure of mounting a jaw coupling on the high speed shaft. So we'll see how the two halves come together, setting, tightening them down and making sure everything's mounted correctly. So we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the first step, we want to make sure we have all the components for the install. So here we have the coupling halves, one side for the motor, one side for the reducer. We also have the bolts for the motor connection, as well as the coupling spider. We want to make sure you have all of that with your Allen wrench to set the coupling, uh, spacing and things like that, and then the appropriate wrench. First up, we want to put the coupling half onto the reducer. And once you slide it on there, you, one of the little tricks here is to slide it all the way up so that way uh, you'll see why it's a little easier once it's mounted, but that way you can align it easier and you want to slide it all the way back so just at the end of the key on the motor shaft. And then you're going to put on your coupling spider. So they call this the spider because due to its shape. You'll slide it in there, put it all the way onto the coupling so it sits flat against the cup coupling face. So next we'll using the proper uh, supporting equipment. As you know, these motors can be heavy. Uh, always want to wear your PPE with this as well. So once that's supported and lined up, you just line up the four motor mounting holes and you start threading in the bolts one at a time, making sure they thread nicely. You don't want to cross thread them, you don't want to go too tight on one before you get the other three lined up. So you're going to go around checking each one, make sure it's nice and uh, can turn hand tight and make sure it's nice and easy threading in. Once you know they're all four of them are nice and tight and started correctly, you can go around with the wrench and tighten them up in a circular pattern. You can do a star pattern as well, it's not as critical. You just want to make sure the pilot on the motor is nice and snug to the gearbox C-face adapter. Next is to slide the other coupling half, as we said, to make it line up to the reducer coupling half. So once it's on there lined up, you slide it in, making sure it makes full contact, and then you rotate the shaft so you can access the set screws. Now there are two set screws on each half of the coupling. You want to go through and do the first one, then you rotate the shaft 90 degrees so you get to the second one. So you tighten up both, get them nice and snug, and then you want to do the same thing to the reducer side as well. They also have two set screws both at 90 degrees apart. So you go through, set, tighten up both set screws, and you're good to go. The, redu the motor is now mounted and you can install your safety guard. Uh, as required by your application and you're ready to wire up the motor and power it up. 